Number 33, calculate the mole fraction of each solute and solvent. And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have 25 grams of Cl2 in 125 grams of dichloromethane, which is CH2Cl2. Okay. So for this, we just have to find the mole fraction of the solute and the solvent. I have two compounds here. Well, one, one is technically a molecule. It's just Cl2, but we have a covalent compound here, CH2Cl2. Which one is the solute and which one is the solvent? It's good practice to just identify which one is which. Now, since solute has six letters and a solvent has seven, you could always use this little trick to find out which one is the solute and the solvent. The smaller amount is always going to be placed inside the bigger amount. And generally speaking, the solvent is going to be your liquid medium. Now, in this case, they're talking about Cl2 versus CH2Cl2. So in this case, we have 25 grams of the Cl2 is being placed in the dichloromethane. So the Cl2 has to be the solute, and the CH2Cl2 has to be the solvent. And once they're placed together, and they're chilling, it makes a solution which is eight letters. So solution is the highest amount. But anyway, for these, we just have to find out the mole fraction for both. The mole fraction formula is this. There it is. And maybe we'll put it in the middle this time. There we go. Now, a mole fraction is represented by capital X. So capital X, mole fraction. And just like any other fraction, a mole fraction is a part divided by a whole. We can only find a mole fraction for one compound or molecule at a time. So if we're trying to find out the mole fraction for Cl2, I have to put the moles of Cl2 on the top divided by the total moles in the whole entire solution. And then we have to do the same thing for the CH2Cl2. But I see mole, 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 gram, Gram. Yikes. So, I, I'm not in the right units. I first need to get in the correct unit of the quantity, right? Grams. Two moles. So they gave me 25 grams of Cl2. I have to convert that into moles of Cl2. And then I got to do the same thing for the dichloromethane. They gave me 125 grams of CH2Cl2. Well, let's convert that into moles of CH2Cl2. Maybe I can move this up a little bit. Okay, so grams to moles. If you're going from grams of one substance to moles of the same substance, I just labeled it A, you always just divide by the molar mass. So, I have to look on the periodic table for what the molar mass of Cl2 is. There's two chlorines. Each chlorine is 35.45. So I just do two times 35.45. And I get 70.9. So I just divide by 70.9. So my 25 grams that I have divided by the 70.9 there is my total number of moles, 0 0.3526. And now we'll do the same for the CH2Cl2. I have one carbon, which is 12.01, plus two hydrogens, which is 1.008, plus the two chlorines again, which is 35.45. So maybe I could take the 70.9, which is the two uh, chlorines plus 12.01 plus 2 times 1.008. Just checking, everything looks good to me. Press enter. And I got divided by 84.926. I'm going to take my 125 grams and divide it by that molar mass. And I get 1.4719. That looks good to me. Now we have the individual moles of each compound. So I'm slowly 
getting into my mole fraction. So let's see, we're going to do x and x. We have Cl2, so the mole fraction for Cl2, and then we have the mole fraction for CH2Cl2. This is going to equal a fraction. And now, if we're trying to find the mole fraction of Cl2, I put the moles of Cl2 on the top, 0 0.3526. And if I'm trying to find the mole fraction for CH2Cl2, the 1.4719 goes on the top. But now the question is, what's the number in the denominator? Well, that's the total moles. But if these are all the moles that I have in my whole entire solution, what would I have to do to find the total? Yeah, you got it. We just got to add these numbers up. So, 0.3526 plus 1.4719. I get roughly 1.8245, and that's your total moles. And that would be the denominator for both fractions. So now we are ready to go. X equals, X equals, let's just fill in. We got the mole fraction for Cl2, and then we have the mole fraction for, maybe I need a little bit more room, the mole fraction for CH2, Cl2. So for Cl2's mole fraction, 0.3526 divided by that number, I get 0 0.1. One, nine, three, I guess. And then for the other one, 1 1.4719 divided by this number. I get 0 0.81. I mean, technically they both should be one sig fig. So maybe we'll say, uh, sorry, two sig figs. Um, so maybe we'll do that. Eh, that's fine. Zero. Does it matter? No. Eight, zero, seven? Sure. Um, and those are your mole fractions. Now, just know that if you have all your components, right, all your mole fractions together, and we add up all the mole fractions, what number do you think we would get? We got to get the total. And the total fraction is always one over one, which is one. So if I take my two mole fractions and add them together, let's see, there it is. We have one whole pizza pie, or one whole solution, basically. But that's the end. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. I love helping you guys out, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Stay safe, be well, stay healthy. Um, keep studying, always keep learning, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.